So I can remember waking up from anesthesia after having my biopsy done and being told that I had breast cancer. I was um, 44 years old and um, had two young children. Zoe was six, Olivia was three. It wasn't new to us, a cancer diagnosis. Um, fear, you know, comes through you as, um, wow, how can this be? I remember my dad taking me outside actually and telling me, and he told me that everything was gonna be okay, but she was gonna have to go through some pretty harsh treatments. We didn't know exactly what to expect, but he did tell me that she was gonna be sick. All I knew was that that was how it was gonna be, and I didn't know how long it was gonna be like that. And I had to be okay with not running and jumping on my mom because she didn't feel very good. And after the initial shock wore off, I had such a peace. God has this. This diagnosis might be bigger than me, but it's not bigger than Him. And I never in my wildest dreams figured that it would be a blessing to my own daughter, who in 2019 was diagnosed with breast cancer. I found a lump. Since my mom had had breast cancer, I was doing self-exams, and we were pretty um, proactive about things that we would find on my self-exams. So this one lump in particular grew from the size of a bean to the size of an egg. And 20 days after my 20th birthday, I was diagnosed with estrogen positive breast cancer. It was such a comfort for me when Zoe was diagnosed to be able to turn to somebody who knows the ins and outs um, of, you know, where do we go next? What's the next step? What's the latest and greatest as far as treatment goes? And the Mary Ellen Loker Center provided that through nurse navigators. I was very stressed at the time, and they were able to give me the guidance that I needed during such a stressful time. And knowing that she was in great hands, even if there was nothing that I could do to cure her, that the people that were there for her were just amazing and giving her anything that she could ever ask for, want, or need. When I was diagnosed at 20 years old, they were concerned because 20 year olds don't really get diagnosed with breast cancer. So I got genetic testing done. And all of us except my father were positive for the BRCA2 mutation. Because of Zoe's young diagnosis and my genetic mutation, I decided to have prophylactic bilateral mastectomies at 16. It was really nice that the hospital was able to provide so many good resources for us because we didn't know what we were doing and we didn't know much about genetic mutations to begin with. And my sister also tested positive for the BRCA mutation. I had decided before I was even tested that I was going to um, have a bilateral mastectomy if I was positive to help prevent breast cancer. Little did I know when I had my mastectomy in March that most likely I already had breast cancer, but it was in my lymph nodes. Then she went through the chemo and radiation and got a tremendous amount of support from the Mary Ellen Loker Center. And in June of, of this year, I am cancer free. And it was actually the day before Thanksgiving that we got my pathology back that I did not have cancer and that my tumor was just a benign muscle tumor. I'm just very thankful that God has given us such an inspirational story that we can hopefully touch other people and be an inspiration to them. My family story is really just one story out of hundreds and thousands of people that have been touched by the center. And that would not have been possible without the kindness and the donations of people like you. Helping women like me and my sister and my mother and my aunt, helping us to feel the comfort and love that we found in this foundation.